and a price procurement. So what we have learned so far is at a very high level. I'm going to drill down a little step further uh, and explain you the procurement processes in terms of an enterprise. So what you see over here is business process flow for sourcing as well as uh, fulfillment in a procurement organization. So the first step is uh, the need to uh, recognize a specific uh, requirement for sourcing product or a service then uh, then comes the supplier relationship management now, this is a very big uh, process in itself wherein uh, suppliers will be identified they will be asked to fill up an rfi through which they will be shortlisted and they would be sent for internal review and approval So once a supplier is identified, then the next step comes the contract lifecycle management. So basically, uh, the contract lifecycle management is a place wherein the contract will be uh, negotiated with the supplier. So at that point of time, the terms and conditions of, for a specific contract will be negotiated with the buying organization. And once the contract uh, terms and conditions are negotiated, then the contract will be signed. So this also includes some aspects of sourcing in the form of uh, supply solicitation, such as a request for quotation, auctions, suppliers response to that in the form of quotation or bidding, and then analysis and awarding process, which will result in a contract. So that's where it is called as contract lifecycle management. Then the result of that contract will be purchase order. So the uh, sourcing cycle will be right from uh, this supplier relationship management to contract life cycle management and the fulfillment activity which starts after the contract is creation in the form of placing a purchase order approving purchase order then uh, communicating that purchase order to suppliers and supplier will issue a acknowledgement its acceptance of that po and then fulfilling that po in the form of uh, supplying the requested goods or services and from the buying organization side they will receive those goods and services and then the supplier will send the invoice which is where this business process flow will come into picture so this is entirely the PayPal's module which is where it will process the invoice sent by the supplier in the form of validation of that invoice and then possibly approval of that invoice and then issuing payment to the supplier for that particular invoice once a payment is issued to the supplier that will end basically the procure to pay business process flow then comes the spend analytics side of the things which is where uh, the companies would like to do regular analysis of the spend they are making in terms of uh, uh, checking uh, what purchasing they are doing whether it is adhering to the yearly budget or long-term budgets and so on. So that's where the spend analytics module comes into picture. Usually this is a part of the business intelligence process. So Oracle have uh, Oracle business intelligence uh, enterprise platforms for leveraging that functionality. Some companies will implement data where also that, but uh, the OBIE, platform itself is like a data warehouse what can do for the analysis of the spend over here so that this is one diagram of uh, sourcing as well as procurement um, business process flow in oracle at a very high level uh, in fact this diagram can be applied in a business perspective as well so the next step is again uh, another form of uh, a diagram to explain you the functionality in a little more detail for example starting with the step one is starting with setting the procurement priorities step two is preparing to buy step three is issuing your solicitation so basically this is the place wherein the supplier identification and uh, qualification and approval will happen okay then issuing your solicitation means issuing the rfq or an auction process to the supplier and the supplier will respond in the form of a quotation or a bid and that's where the next step comes into picture evaluation uh, and proposals 
you know, of uh, received from the suppliers. So, so, so the uh, quotation or bid received from the supplier will be evaluated and shortlisted. And once shortlisting has happened, then the next step is uh, negotiation with the uh, suppliers for the contracts that have been uh, uh, that have to be signed up. Okay, so whatever the bids or quotations have been received, that's where that's what will be negotiated out here along with the associated terms and conditions. Finally, next step is testing and validation. So next step is validating all those uh, negotiated contract terms and conditions, putting that into the system, validating that and uh, awarding the contract to the suppliers. Okay, so as you could see, uh, you have three step highlighted over here. First is planning, second is solicita solicitation and uh, next step is post award which is nothing but the fulfillment activity. So this is a screenshot I have taken from internet uh, to explain you uh, the procurement process flow in a little more detail. So next step is managing performance and relationship which is where the business intelligence will come into picture and uh, Oracle and uh, uh, Fusion can leverage OBIE as a uh, inbuilt uh, data warehouse for uh, spend analytics or performance evaluation. Okay, and last step is uh, reviewing and learning. So, reviewing your performance in terms of uh, supplier fulfillment activities. Uh, for example, how the supplier is responding to fulfillment, whether they are um, they are fulfilling the purchase orders on time against the contract or there is a slippage or whether there are any quality issues and so on and learning as as we go for the buying side so that uh, they can evaluate the contracts and if at all any scrutiny is needed they can take those steps and uh, put those learning uh, in, in into writing or into corrective actions. So this is uh, the entire uh, procure to pay business process flow right from planning to solicitation to post award in the form of fulfillment. So the next diagram over here is again another picture. You see I'm taking these different diagrams so that your understanding of the entire business process flow becomes crystal clear. So th this is a uh, this is a, a short uh, diagram for EPM stands for enterprise Perf uh, performance management there is uh, a module in oracle uh, fusion for enterprise performance management which connects all these areas uh, which includes e-tendering uh, nothing but the st standardizing of all tendering procedures for highest level of compliance transparency and uh, auditability so this process uh, takes place in the sourcing module then you've got supplier management get familiar with each supplier's quality by tracking data from pre-qualification to evaluation so the entire uh, uh, supplier management activities happens over here in uh, including the qualification of those suppliers so basically this module connects all the areas and then you've got uh, e-purchase requisitions so streamlined steps to go digital without time or location limitation all uh, for procuring faster and better so e-procurement usually is uh, the i procurement uh, uh, functionality of oracle fusion then you've got ap in uh, ap approval and automation improved decisions and financial control then automated payable scheduling tracking verification etc so basically this part is taken care in payables module so what does epm do epm tries to connect all these areas to uh, to give you uh, insights into all these areas wherein financial uh, managers or uh, uh, C-level executives can take decisions further uh, or may basically in summary you can say that assist them in taking better informed decisions.